Hey folks, what's all? Welcome back to another Palm Masters video, and this morning I woke up and got my sixth slot in the expedition, right? So anyways, um, so folks were asking, how'd you do it so fast, this or that, and also, you know, what's the best strategy to do these teams once you hit those six slot upgrades, right? So yeah, let's talk a bit about this, I'll, I'll talk a bit about how I went from three slots to six slots in two days, I wanna say, right? And then also, uh, after you do get the six slots, moving forward, what's probably the best, um, you know, practices or ideas. So anyways, so yeah, just um, in short, if you guys don't know what uh, expeditions are, there's, I already made a guide going over the entire uh, train lodge, including expedition. So uh, this video, we're not really gonna talk about like basics. We're just gonna go right into the thick of of the, the 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 cool part right in terms of um building expedition teams uh specifically so yeah um the the, the obvious part is uh, when you do do do, do train lodge the number one thing you do want to get your items up to exchange for are the extra team slots that i've already obviously exchanged for so they're not here anymore but you know, if you haven't gotten them all yet, you could see them in your uh, exchange slots over there, right? So, yeah, make sure to get the expedition slots first, because the more slots you have, the the faster you farm all these other, like, stuff, right? So, anyways, um, yeah, that being said, let's, uh, let's talk a bit about this, right? So, first of all, let's talk about how to get six slots fast, right? So, this was my strategy going in, um, and I basically... I got my fourth slot on day one, and I got my fifth and sixth slot basically at the same time um, on day two, right? So the first slot, uh, the first one I aimed for was the bronze slots, right? So those ones are, in my opinion, the fastest ones to get, which, uh, if I remember correctly, was what, 3k uh, bronze pieces, right? So those were the first ones I aimed for. And here's the thing. Uh, don't do chests uh, because chests don't give you bronze pieces at all, right? I mean, if if you look at chests, even you know, obviously the gold chest has no bronze pieces. Even if you go to like one star chest, they don't give you bronze pieces either. It's either you know silver, um, gold, or or the green one, whatever you want to call those, emerald, diamond. I I, I don't really know what it's just these, right? So they don't give you bronze pieces, which means don't do chests <laughs> yet. You, yeah, you'll want to do chests later because um, chests is chests are the only way to get these, right? Which you generally do want to get if you want to like buy interactions, um, for one, and also if you want to buy like the friend keys or the higher level um, gifts, right? But uh, yeah, you you don't want to do chests yet. What I went for is just full colors, right? Uh, so on one team. One team, I went for, uh, all right, let, let me just drop some of these. Uh, all right, so so on one team, I went for plus 10 on one color, right? And then on the other team, plus 10 on the other color. Let's see, wait, what team is this? Is this team A or team B? Yeah, this is team A, right? So team A does have the nade boost on red and, and yellows, right? So this, you know, it's not super hard to make one of these, right? You just go look. And find the unit that gives you the color that you want. Team A, you generally want to go for red or yellows, right? Because they get an innate plus one boost, right? Uh, plus plus one one and uh, or or um, yeah, uh, extra plus one in in reds and and yellows. And generally, if you want to, for example, if you want to go for red, let's make a red team, right? Uh, we could go. Let's go Nate over here, right? Unova could do one. And we select Unova because we need three Unova units for plus four over here on Nate. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this, right? Let's see, it's gonna be four. I also do have Omni Potions, right? So do take that in account. So yeah, there's that. Uh, there's a few ways you could do this. You could either go with plus two, plus two, right? plus two and then plus two and then there you got ten uh but you only really just have like you know otherwise like a two yellow one blue and one um chest which is fine but i personally don't really like that as much i generally like to go with like 
you know, for example, like one, um, whoops, that's, that's the wrong color. Uh, let's see, up, oh, there it is. There's something like this, where you get a plus three on red as well, and then, but, but a minus one on blue, because, you know, there's still the innate, so your blue doesn't go lower than one in this case, even though, you know, you do, um, minus it. And then instead you get a, you know, a plus three red, minus one blue, and then instead of a plus two red, you could just get a, a plus one red, plus one yellow. So that just makes getting yellow a bit faster, right? It doesn't take yellow out of the bronze stage. You won't be getting any, like, silvers with yellow, but you'll be getting a, you know, decent amount of uh, bronze, at least, with yellow, because that's the last stage. Um, for bronze only, not that bronze doesn't get more, you do get more bronze, right, at level 10. I think there's a bit of a misnomer, right? Um, some people might think, oh, well, you know, highest amount of bronze you get is whatever you get. Oh, no, not really. If you just look at it, it's, you get more bronze at higher levels too. So, there is that. So, yeah, um, that's, for example, a red team. You could go for a, you know, there's, again, there's multiple different, uh, red teams, you can do this. this isn't like the only um, team, right? Uh, for example, which else is there? Uh, oh, Kanto is the other one, right? If you, you know, if you want to do Kanto instead, there's also Kanto, where you could do, you know, um, this blue, and let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, I, if I remember correctly, I do like Unova's comp a bit better. A bit better right uh, because you you can get um, plus three on yellows over here everything that is plus three red if I remember correctly right also do um, are like uh, uh, that th that that minus blues are all blue which is slightly weird because you know, blue is getting plus red and then the minus blues. Because, like, you know, regular Pidgeots, plus three red, minus one blue. This guy is um, plus three red, minus one blue. And obviously, you can't, you know, can't run two blues on the same team. Um, like, blue the character. Blue, right? So, yeah, I mean, in this case, you probably have to do something like... Uh, you either go 2-2, two, two, right? Or you go something like over here with that and then you get maybe you know plus three uh, do we have plus two uh or, or do we have um in this game let's see uh plus one up oh, there it is plus one blue plus one red over here i guess so yeah um for like red specifically with only three slots i do think um uh you must uh, universe probably a bit better right but anyways um in terms of some of the other colors right we have yellow which is for uh, or or you get it from hoenn and kalos right so for example you could whip up a quick kalos team over here right and kalos is a really really nice one because you do have a lot of options for example again you have seabold over here gives you a plus three and then you could go for a plus one plus one um something like uh that no 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 We're looking for yellow 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 not um not 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 red i just realized whoops <laughs> so ah, oh, there it is wickstorm is 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 a plus yellow one right it does minus red which slightly sucks a bit uh, because red red would otherwise be the more the the better option just because you have that extra plus one innate in there right i mean if you get cheers then it's it's much easier to do cheers you just add one and then you could build it your way right um bit easier i feel so yeah i mean if you want to do like blue here it really depends if you want to do red or blue over there um again yeah you do get it's it's a difference between level twos or level threes i don't think it's like that big of a deal right and then you also have uh, Hoenn here as well with also the plus four yellows. Obviously, you do want, by the way, if you're running between plus four and one to six, which one you generally want to use plus four because one to six only gets you like three max if you only have three slots, right? And four gives you four. <laughs> so, 
Uh, anyways, uh, that aside, right, uh, Hoenn gives you similar results because they also don't have any, um, plus three, um, a plus three yellows. That also, uh, gives, like, minus blue, so you'd have to choose between, do you want plus two red or do you want plus two blue, right? So, yeah, that's Hoenn. Moving on to the other side, we are on Team B right now. Again, do keep in mind, Team B gives you an A plus one plus one on blues and chess, and then team A gives you an A plus one on reds and yellows, right? So it just helps a bit, right? Get extra plus one, why not? So uh, as for blues, you have your two options, either Alola or Johto. Uh, Alola, I think, if I remember correctly, is the better option here, right? So yeah, if you go, I keep on clicking that. If you go to Alola, right, Lily is the plus four Alolan over here, and you do have a plus three uh, Alolan option over here, which is Lana, right? So, oh, I do have Cheers on on my second team right now, which uh, inflates everything by another plus one. So do keep that in mind, I guess, right? Um, I've gotten three Cheers so far. This, re this, this Cheer that's on right now literally just happened right before I started recording. So, um, yeah, a Cheers just, it's a random chance of, of happening. Um, you know, one of your characters in the expedition will have it over their heads, and if you click it, you get plus one across the board, uh, again, which stacks with Omni Potions and stuff, uh, which again, I am using Omni Potions, that's the rainbow one plus one uh, on everything, and then, yeah, anyways, um, for, for Lola, because I have the cheers, it's like plus ten right now, but like, if you take away the cheers, it's two plus four plus, uh, three, which would be, what, um, eight right no 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 not 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 eight uh nine nine so you still need plus one plus one in in this case um again you could do whichever one you want for 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 plus one uh, since it is lana you probably want plus one on reds because uh lana does debuff um yellow if you're doing kiawe on the other hand you could go for yellows right so if you're doing Lana, you want um, plus one blue, plus one um, reds, right? Actually, does Alola not have any <laughs> plus one blues, plus one yellows? I don't think they do. Yeah, Alola doesn't have any. So never mind. Just just go with like Lana and, and like Hollow there, there, right? That that would be the better option, um, I guess for for blues. And then the other one is Jodo, which again, if I remember correctly, I don't I don't think is that good. Um, in comparison, so just go with the Lola, I guess. So, um, yeah, SS Chris is the plus four over here, and there aren't any plus three <laughs> blues. That's that's why I said it wasn't as good, right? So, you just got to go with, um, I guess, like plus two here, and then like they don't even have a second plus two blue. Oh, no, 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 yeah, there, there's one, um, Lyra. So, you just got to do this, and then you just don't get any like extras, right? So is what it is so yeah that's that's what i did for for uh getting my first slot right which is again bronze right i just went for level 10 on one color on one side and then level 10 on another color on the other side and every i'd say eight hours or so i swapped the teams right so i i i, I for example if i started um red and blue right and then after uh, or let's say uh, yellow and blue because I have yellow up right now so I started yellow and blue and then after like eight hours I'd see okay between yellow and blue who's a bit higher because there is RNG right they're not gonna be going at the exact same pace right so for example if I have more blues then I'll swap the plus 10 blue out for plus 10 red right and then eight hours later in this case we're gonna probably have to swap blue back in then I'll check okay between yellow and red which one i i have more of probably yellow because probably yellow's been there much longer um then then i'll swap yellow out for blue right you just keep on rotating these three right you you, you go with the you know you, you start with two and then after eight hours or so you see which one has uh more you take out the one with more and, and then swap in the new color and then just keep on swapping until uh you get your 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 stuff right i mean you still have like level one slash level two chests on team b so you might get you know in terms of like silver and gold you still will be accumulating a lot of silver and gold there as well right and then if you get lucky on the chest you could get some of those as well so anyways moving on 
Uh, personally, I did get both um, my team slot 5 and 6 around the same time. I mean, uh, I think I got my gold slots like 3-4 minutes later to my silver slot. So it didn't make much of a difference to me. But after I, un I unlocked my 4th slot, um, the strategy for me is to basically still go for like a 10 on 1 color. But I do have an extra slot where I could give you some chests, right? So again, chests do have a decent chance of dropping. Uh, well, I won't say decent chance because it depends. Some people got, you know, um, some people get a bit more lucky on this one because chests are very, very, very RNG. Uh, their drop rates are very, very low. And the chance of getting something you want, which in this case would be golds and silvers. You don't want, you don't want greens yet, right? You want golds or silvers of the colors, right? Uh, to get a gold or silver drop is really unlikely. And to get the right one is um, even more unlikely. I think in this uh, total of two days of me running like high higher chests, I only got like, f I want to say five or six drops of these gold and silver ones. Um, although I was lucky enough to avoid getting like a lot of like coins or level up manuals, which are, you know, um, co-ops and corps, which are generally useless, right? Uh, stuff. Mm, I've been getting a lot of these, <laughs> which also aren't super useful at the moment, but you know, it is what it is, right? But yeah, if you do get lucky, um, any drops of these are going to be a massive, massive boost, right? I mean, even, even if you get them from like the one star rare chest, right? Like from the one star chest, like... 100 of golds is like a tenth of the entire way, right? 300 of, of, of this is like a massive, massive, um, you know, amount added. And obviously in, in silver, it's, it's even much more, right? It's like for gold, it's like twice that. And then for, um, for, for silvers, if you get one silver drop, that's 25%, you know, uh, of that color, right? Of that color needed. And then, um, in, in gold, if you do get one gold drop, it's like, a third of the color needed and then it's for silvers it's like, like you, you you get the point right you, you know if you get one of these from chess it's gonna be really really nice uh, which is why I went with I, I generally max out or get close to max out one color and then go for a good amount of chess right so it's basically just gonna be the same or similar teams right and then all I really throw in there is just add a chess unit uh, what unit the chest is really depends on what units you have um, some of these chess units are limited, right? Uh, Mass Royale isn't, so there's that, I guess, right? Um, but the only thing is, like, for blues, if you're trying to, like, do blue plus chest, they don't really work that way, because all the plus three chess units, all minus blue, <laughs> unfortunately. So you can't really do that with, um, with, uh, blue, uh, chess or, 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 uh, blues or whatever, right? So you probably want to go with uh, like a plus two here instead um you know for example over here you can just do like i, I don't know like berry Going exploring? boom you got plus two although another option you would have at plus four uh, or, uh at four four slots is since you do have four slots you do have the option of going for these one to sixes which if you do everyone in the same region you'll have you know, you, you, you have plus four, which is basically the same thing. It, it, they're just like different regions, right? Just different regions, depending on, you know, which region you maybe have, you know, better units in that, that could help. You could do the plus those instead, right? So again, basic strategy, plus 10 of one color, and then the rest, you just fill in, uh, fill in with chests, right? Is, is generally uh, what I do. So uh, moving on to, let's say, okay, you unlocked your fifth slot. You're looking for that last slot, right? Last slot could be either uh, silvers or or golds. I don't really see people unlocking bronze a last, which, you know, people who do unlock bronze a last are generally going to be slower people. It's because um, people who unlock bronze a last are generally people who went for, like, chests first. And it does seem like going for chests first is, is generally not, not as fast, right? But anyways, that aside, if you want five slots... Uh, again, it's going to be the same philosophy, right? You just get another slot basically for chests, right? So in, in, in this case, we could throw in another, uh, uh, another one, I guess, right? Although again, uh, over here, if you can find regions that could give you, you know, 
um, better options with the 1 to 6s to go with those because that gives you 5 instead of, you know, um, in, 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 instead of just 4, right? It saves you plus 1. Uh, maybe you could take out one of those plus one plus ones and then throw in like an extra chest unit in there instead Just make sure they don't take away from because look if they take away from like the other two colors It doesn't really matter. I mean, they're not gonna get super high anyways You'd rather I'd say generally have two very very high levels than like three like Lower levels right or four lower levels. So anyways yeah, that's basically that's basically it, right? I mean, there's there's nothing too much to it. Um, just start out with start with, start out with colors only. Don't go chest. And then after like maybe you unlock that first slot because you do want to go unlock that first slot first, right? Then you can maybe throw in a chest there while still maintaining the very high levels of colors, right? It doesn't always have to be at plus ten if you don't have the units or if you're like missing a chair or whatever, right? Um, but generally, I'd say. Plus one is nice. I mean, plus plus nine difference isn't that big. So if it's plus one, if 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 plus nine works and it gives you like an extra level on chest or whatever, two extra levels on chest, then sure, right? Um, so there's that. Do keep in mind it, you do want at least plus seven because plus seven is is you know or or level seven or whatever you want to call it. Uh, level seven is the like lowest level you could get goals at, although level seven the rates are really 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 low so i wouldn't really recommend going for level seven just try to aim for level nine or level ten i'd say right generally so yeah there you go and then um, in again a day or two you should probably have the fifth and sixth slots unlocked so now let's talk about what to do after you unlock the sixth slot right before we look at teams we do have to look at the shop right to sort of like understand why we're going for certain things so if you look at the shop uh in expeditions you only have stuff that are exchangeable for coins and if you look at the interactions one slot you have thing you know you have extra interactions that you can exchange for with these um stones right the the highest level ones which again you can only get from chess and then you just get uh, these insight specs which are really really nice it reveals you which the hot you know hot topic is in the interaction very very useful i find right so you don't have to go around guessing because the hot topics change every single time right so these only cost 100 of each bronze which generally not very very hard to farm for right when you think about it and then boost juice which gives you max vibes when you select a topic that matches your guest hot topic during an interaction um i won't say it's like super super useful because i mean generally like two hot topics would do it anyways so it, and it costs you like a hundred of each silvers which i mean you know if you want it sure i guess right and then over here you got um these uh the digger shovels which makes your tension drop you know uh, uh, drop slower for the interactions which help a lot as well if you want to you know keep them around longer uh, at least again it's all rng right so i mean some people have had their interactions end at like 97 percent you know what happened i mean you hit that three percent of them like running away it sucks right <laughs> congratulations it's basically if you think of it in a good way that's basically the uh the chance of you pulling a, a future unit from that <laughs> but anyways um yeah uh so these are really really useful again also only just 100 of each bronze which again very 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 easy and, and fast to accumulate and then feel ring which uh, topics that match your uh, guest hot topic will appear more often during the interaction, which I don't feel like that important either. So, uh, but still, it's you know a hundred of each silver. These will take a while to get, but these are definitely very very expensive. You need three thousand of the gold ones and then thirty of the green ones or silver diamond, whatever you want to, or not silver, definitely not silver, uh, diamond number one or whatever you want to call these. And then this is like 30 of each, right? Um, this gives you, what, 10 friendship cap uh, unlocks. These you generally won't have to use until very, very late in the game, until like you like basically level 100 every single unit in the trainer lodge, right? Then you could start using these to break their level 100 level cap, which again is gonna be very, 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 very late in the game. But also I don't find them very much worth it either because they cost way too much, right? And you could just get them from like chests <laughs> when you're uh, out exploring, anyways, right? I mean, you had a chance to drop gold ones in the three star chest. You have a chance to drop, you know, silver ones in two star chests, and then bronze ones one star chest. I've gotten a few already, so I mean, 
Yeah, so I don't think it's like that big of a deal to buy those. And then interactions is basically, you know, uh, 300 for silver gifts, uh, 500 for bronze gifts, and then 1,000 for gold gifts. Obviously, the gold gifts are the best, but they also do cost you a bit. So uh, the point I'm trying to get at is over here. Uh, the most useful shards generally are, I would say, silver ones, right? You're probably going to be using the most. Maybe bronze sometimes. Um, but, yeah, um... Point being, I, I feel like the, the 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 most useful ones are the green ones, right? To buy extra interactions, you only have an, a limit of three interactions. Extra interactions you can buy per day, so do keep that in mind as well. But I do feel like the extra interactions are probably the most worth uh, your 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 stuff, right? And the only way you get extra interactions are from chests, right? So again, you shouldn't do chests early on, but you should definitely do chests uh, in late game. So parsley, what I prefer is double. 10 chests and then a 10 of a you know color and then again you know if one color is lacking behind a bit you'd swap that color with uh oh look we got an, we got a chest here with uh the chest or, or, or the the just do what you did in like step one right take the color that you don't have as much and then swap out the color that you have a lot of right basically it's it's, it's this is this is not very very complicated stuff all right so yeah um i feel like that's probably the the way to go over there right double 10 chests and then double 10 on one color uh except for the fact that you can't really get double 10 chest and uh or it, not double 10 you can't really get 10 chests and 10 blue because almost every big like plus chest unit right does minus blue right every single plus three chest unit in the game gives you minus two blue at least which sucks. Um, well, I mean, I, I haven't seen the seen the skills from like the new units yet. Actually, let me check. Anyways, it, it doesn't matter. But just at the moment of recording this video, in the future, I'm sure they're gonna give us plus three chests that that doesn't minus any any blues. But uh, again, at the time of recording this one, we don't have any uh, plus three chests that gives you like any minus blues. So it does make it so that the best I think you could really do is plus 10 chests and like plus nine blues or the other way around but i prefer plus 10 chests i'd say all right um but yeah other than that um yeah that's just like the the, the only slight issue over here right so yeah again it's just that chest gives you like in general the 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 only way of getting these right and then also you get like some other like good stuff like five star power ups right five star power up tickets you know free five star over there with the 30 scout tickets i mean yeah, and also these these friend keys, very 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 nice. If you could land on those as well, lodge stones are, are not bad either. So there's there's that right. They, you exchange those for level 150 cap items. Um, just hope you don't get like any of these, any of these, <laughs> any of these. I mean coins aren't like as bad. I feel. But anyways, um, regardless. Okay, let's let's talk about some of these team compositions, right? Uh, let me check what I got in this chest, man. So, oh. That's nice, I guess. It was only bronze, but still. Anyways, so th there's a few ways to build these, right? Uh, as you can see, for this team specifically, it's more of a Sinnoh-centric team um, that, that that you know, revolves around having Lucas over there for the plus five total, right? For, for the yellows, uh, you can't really get, like, max, like, plus six without, you know, sacrificing chest, so... That's, 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 that's unless, unless you have like cheers i guess right but yeah um got plus five lucas over here if we are looking at sinos obviously we we have to have like someone in there for the extra chest and i picked mass royale because that's the, like the um i guess only other one that doesn't minus any yellows because you'd have to either choose between mass royale ssr cynthia or ss lose me and and, and uh, ss giovanni right because that's either plus six chest and no minus yellows or plus six chests and no minus reds um in this case right so as for uh the rest of the team right let's see we're in sino so yeah there, there's a lot of options you don't have to exactly go with these right but just to make it easy i went with like birth over here um for the plus three um and and no minus minus uh 
yellow. I mean, well, it wouldn't make sense to plus yellow my cell. But yeah, um, a birth over here. Lucian's another option. Gives you the same stuff, right? Again, if you don't have um, those, you can still go with any of the, like the plus two ones, which would be a dark eye, right? If I remember correctly. So yeah, those are the options. That's for like the other chests. Just go for. Um, Plus two chests that don't give you any minus, you know, yellows, which in this case would be Drock and Thorcon, I feel like are the only ones, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, Barry, Barry does minus yellow chests, so yeah, um, this is like the only option, obviously. Um, it is nice to have either Sinnoh or like, I, 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 I guess, uh, does Alola give you one to six on, on, on... I, I don't I don't think it does right. What what is Alola? Oh, it's uh, Alola gives you reds, which is not very ideal because Masriel does minus you reds, right? So uh, yeah, there there are other yellow ones. The other ones, uh, Kanto. I don't think Kanto is as good in this case. But like here's the thing, you don't really have to go for these plus one to six. You could still you could go for like for example double plus fours. That could also be an option, right? Uh, if, if you know if, if you if you don't have that like for example you go you know plus four you over here um, with Serena plus four on May and then you just go with like Kalos and Hoenn and see what you could get from that right um, for example Hoenn we could go uh, let's see I mean we, we still need those like big like um, what are these uh, uh, chest ones right and but you know for example you could throw in instead you could throw throw this guy in right like noland uh helps a bit over there and then let's see uh what else we got like wally I promise right I that gives down. you uh pl actually that gives you plus uh six already right and then you could maybe go over to kalos and see what like chess units they have right let's see we got Mm, where is it? Where is it? Um, oh, never mind. I forgot. Kalos is only Lysander, which is also minus minus yellow. So I, uh, I, I guess in this case maybe it won't work. So you, so maybe like not double fours. You could just go um, chest unit here, and then go for like a plus three Let's unit over there, and then in the end you could put like a plus two chest unit over there, or or, or plus one. Or plus two, I guess, like yellows. It really depends if you want like max yellow or, or max chest. Again, personally, I, I would prefer um, max chest over here, right? So, do something like this, which is like a cheaper version, I guess, right? Which first, and then if you do get a cheer, you would have, you know, plus 10 in this case, right? So, there's, there's a lot of ways to work around with these, right? Uh, again, you don't have to go with double plus 10 chest. There is ways where you could go for two or, or, or plus ten of each right so one thing actually like runner came up with right is a way of getting plus ten on on each um or, or, or on each one of these colors right so for example we're on i think team a right now right we have an omni potion up as as, as usual and this is what we get for plus ten on both red and blue here right you got steven in there for the plus four on reds for hoenn you got Flint and Marshall over there, right, for the um, extra plus 6 red over there, which would give you plus 10 already in of itself. Uh, but we do have some minus um, reds with, like, Phoebe over there. Uh, so there, there's that, I guess. And then you also have, you know, Drake and Glacier. Actually, could this be optimized a bit further with any plus 3s that minus? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you could go for Lana. Right, you go for Lana, which um, minus is um, yellow. But again, it doesn't really matter that much. It just makes it so that you, you swap out like, like for like a plus. It, it doesn't really matter, right? It, it, it's just like if you don't have like one of these options, you go for some some other the uh, other these other ones, right? In this case, right, it could be uh, Aaron, Lana, Kiawe. Although I think everyone has Phoebe. Come on, right? Anyways, um, uh, yeah, and then uh. You basically get again plus ten reds, plus ten blues in this situation. Everyone has um, Marshall. Everyone has you know Flint, right? So that shouldn't be much of an issue there. And the other team 
for 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 the second team to have like plus 10 yellow and plus 10 chest i mean mine is a bit overkill because i have the cheers on right now but you know assuming i don't have cheers on this is something you can run right so master Relic gives you plus three um and then ssr cynthia gives you plus three on on chest right again the potion plus innate uh since we are on on, on team b right that should give you plus two uh plus uh or plus two plus two that's four and then plus three plus three that's you know ten right so you do get ten chests from that and then as for uh yellows lucas gives you plus five with you know five seno units on on the team and then you get plus three from bertha that's uh plus eight and then um plus three from lucian which is overkill is, yes. so i guess now now that I think about it it is overkill you, you don't need uh, Lucian, you do get plus one innate, right? So, for example, uh, Lucas plus one of either Bertha or Lucian would already be. Uh, assuming the last slot is also Sinnoh, uh, right? That that would also that would already be what plus nine, right? So then, like the the last slot, you, I, I guess you don't even need him. You just throw in like a plus plus one uh, unit. So that that's like from Sinnoh. Uh, the extra plus doesn't really matter because like the chess guys already like debuff your reds and yellow uh, reds and blues to oblivions are not really getting anything from those so there's that or you know something like a plus two plus two uh again the requirements for this team are a bit higher because most of these guys are more recent units right uh maybe some people don't won't have them but again they will be releasing more you know units with hopefully better expedition skills and stuff in the future so it's gonna be you know also i mean even like outside of expedition skills, you should pull for Lucas and SSR Santa. They're all both really freaking good. <laughs> like outside of expeditions, right? I mean, yeah, expeditions are important, but you know, there's also another part of the game. Don't forget about that. Um, which again, Dragon Zone, Ghost Zone Center is very, very, very nice. So, anyways, yeah, that's I guess gonna be it for this one, right? Just some strategies in terms of how to go forward with these, right? Uh, because again, you you do want, you know, uh, after you get six slots, you you do want more interactions. Which can only again achieve uh, by chess, and then you do want to buy at least some of these, right? So it makes it so that you do want colors, so you at least get the bronze ones, right? Because inside specs are definitely really nice. Digga shovels are really nice. Um, I haven't really had too much experience with uh, boost juice and field ring. I don't feel like they're like that big of a deal unless you just get like completely destroyed by uh, by RNG. But you definitely do want gifts at least, right? Gifts are gonna be nice. So yeah, um, again, really, 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 really. I really don't really recommend farming chests until at least you have your the first lock a slot unlocked the bronze slot unlocked right so um anyways yeah that's really this one I guess hope you all enjoyed it guys think in the comments down below like throw the videos for my channel for some more problem as content let me know if you guys have any other ideas down there as well so yeah have fun and I'll see you guys in the next one then.